Hello, everybody, and good day. This is Fred with Tech Talk and Wentworth CCTV of New England, and we are coming at you today with a quick video on the differences between Heat Vision's IVMS 4200 and Dawa's Smart PSS in regards to remote playback. Okay, lots of our clients have installed uh, this hardware in either their home or businesses, you know, car washes, restaurants, auto body shops, car dealerships. Uh, places like that and oftentimes they will want to remote view those cameras or if an incident occurs um, to play back the incident and download the footage from the incident for the local authorities or the insurance company and in the past um, Dawa has had in my opinion a huge advantage in this area there have been historically a lot of problems with Heat Vision's IVMS 4200 um, with encoding if you were able to capture the incident um, and figure out how to download it, which was a difficult process. Once you did, it was downloaded in H.264 or H.265 compression format. And you'd have to use their format uh, file converter uh, to convert that to a file that Windows Media Player and such uh, could play back. So it really was problematic. And so... Um, this latest version of Heek Vision's IVMS, which is 3.10.0.6, um, it really, it impressed me. It, it smoothed out a lot of those encoding type issues. And the client software, I got to tell you, uh, is much improved. So what I'd like to do is make a current video to compare the two client softwares. And you guys can make the decision yourselves. Um, on on which one works better okay so let's get into that all right everybody let's get into the meat and potatoes before we do you know the drill there is a red subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen please click that and subscribe to our channel if you have not yet done so that way you can be notified when we upload future content like this also like the video if it's useful to you and as always, leave comments. We certainly appreciate the comments, and a lot of this content uh, comes from, you know, viewer and subscriber questions and comments. I am super proud since the last video we have crossed uh, 1 million views on this channel, and we are also up to around 7,400 uh, subscribers. So we're super proud of that, and again, we appreciate all you viewing the channel. So the first thing, the first thing we want to do, we'll start with Heat Vision, is if you do not yet already have it installed, you would want to download Heat Vision's IVMS 4200 from their website. Okay, we do have a video on this process. Uh, there's a link going across the top of your screen right now, um, but to cover it quickly here, all you really would do, uh, if I can move this mic out of the way, uh, if you come here to support. You'll see downloads here to the left, and you'll see software here. When you click on software, um, you'll have some options um, down at the bottom, okay? IBMS 4200, that is what you want. You can click on that. And it will give you two options, okay? There's IBMS 4200 for the Windows operating system, and then you also have one uh, for Mac. Okay, so you would just click the download and what you want. We have already downloaded this software on our PC, so we're going to skip that step. Um, but that's how you download uh, the software, the client software. All right, we are back to our desktop, and as you can see, we have icons for both Heat Vision's IVMS 4200. Again, this is version 3.10.0.6 and the Dawa Smart PSS. Okay. The first thing really I wanted to, to show and, and demonstrate, Heek Vision in the past, when you open IVMS 4200, it was an incredibly slow, it was a painful process. And there are theories out there on why that was slow. Uh, some of them are not good theories and involved Chinese servers. Um, but I don't know the details of any of that, and I am not going to speculate. What I do know is whatever it was has been fixed, okay? And it boots up much faster, so... Let's double click on the icon and you can see that for yourself. 
Yeah, this would have taken 40 seconds, 45 seconds with the previous versions. Okay. Um, so I am in remote playback. That's where I left out. I'm going to X out of here and you can see the control panel for IBM S4200. And from this control panel, um, you can log into your HIK Connect account. Okay. If you have multiple locations and they have been added to the HIK Connect phone app, uh, you can log in using IBM S4200 and it will bring up all of those locations. Okay. We're not going to cover all of that. It was in the previous video. Uh, again, there's a link going across your screen right now. If you click that, that will take you to the tutorial video for all of the functions in IBM S4200. This is just to demonstrate the difference between Live View and Playback between IBM S4200 and Smart PSS. So let's get right into main, main, main view, Live View. And we will pick a camera for you folks. Um, let's do the front of the car wash. Okay. And as you can see, it came up relatively quickly. We can enlarge it. Um, you don't see any freezing. You see the timestamp moving. Um, again, it's raining. If you're not in the Northeast, that's what snow looks like. It is snowing this morning, so it's going to be a white Thanksgiving. But as you can see, the raindrops are moving fluently. There's a vehicle pass. You know, that looks good. Um, no issues at all. Okay, so for live view, um, you know, I give this an A, right? It, it opened quickly. It's streaming fluently. Um, no problems with that. So let's check out playback. Okay. Now we'll go to remote playback. And again, we'll, we'll pick the camera we want to see. We'll do the same camera. And when you double click on the camera, you can change the date, of course, up here. Um, but I'll pick today. And you can see um, the tick marks for motion. Okay. And... It will start playing from the earliest motion, which is that car uh, that just passed. Um, and it looks pretty fluent, right? Um, you can move up, say if we wanted to go, I don't know, what is this, 730? You can click on that, um, and the video will advance to that time frame. Okay. And, and there we are, 730. Again, that process in the past, we've seen some error messages and encoding issues, and uh, it boots you out of the program. Um, Heek Vision seems to have fixed all of that, okay, with this new version. Um, now, this is what I really like, okay, and it is during playback now, during playback, if we want to capture an event, okay. So, say we're doing playback and we see somebody fall, okay, we see the incident we want to capture. All you need to do now is you can take a snapshot of it here, a still picture, okay. Or you can take the video clip simply by hitting this start recording button. And you'll see that when red, okay? And we'll let it record for a few seconds. But when we're done and we click that button, it's going to even give you the folder uh, where this is stored on your computer now. So you don't have to worry about the recorder overwriting on its SATA hard drive. Once you do this, it is downloaded to your computer forever. Okay, so we'll stop. There is our folder link. Okay, and I've done a couple of these, but... The important thing to see is um, this is the file we just downloaded. When we double click on this, okay, actually it's the first one because it's light out. When we double click on this file, it's going to play back without any file conversions or, or formatting. Um, it, it plays right back, okay? And you can see again, there's no buffering with the time. You can see the raindrops, um, all of that type of stuff. Um, so from there, right? You can email this as an attachment to the insurance company, um, to the local authorities. Um, you can do whatever you need to with it. Okay. So I, I also, I got to tell you, I give that an A. Um, the last version, it would have been a D. We couldn't have got through this video without some type of error or issue. Um, and those appear to be fixed. Okay. So that is the demonstration for heat vision when it comes to live view and playback. Now let's switch to DAO. And again, to send this as an attachment, you can right click on it, uh, click share, um, and you can email it. You can put it, you know, to Dropbox um, and that type of stuff. So uh, very simple, very simple process. So let's close out of IVMS. And now we'll do the same thing with DAO's Smart PSS. Okay, so we'll double click on that. 
Um, we have to allow it as well. We're going to log in. All right. And, and again, we have a previous video on Dawa's Smart PSS, how to find this in Dawa's uh, wiki uh, and download it. There's a link going across the top of the screen right now with the process of downloading this from Dawa's website uh, and all of its functions. We're just going to do live view and playback. So let's get right into it. We'll do live back. Uh, I'm sorry, live view. And we will pick a location. Um, let's do har and exterior back. Okay. Again, comes up very quickly. Um, the timestamp uh, is incorrect due to daylight savings. We'll have to figure out why that is. But anyway, you can see that it is streaming fluently. Um, the picture is clear. There's no buffering, buffering or encoding issues. Okay. Um, and, and this is streaming pretty high now, right? This is 2560 by 1440. So, um, four megapixels. Um, I believe that's 20 frames per second. Um, so good deal. Okay. Also, if I had to rate that on, on live view, as far as the client software pulling up the video, um, streaming it fluently. Um, although that was a little bit of buffering there, um, you know, I'd give it an A as well. Okay. Maybe an A minus because of that buffering. I just happened to notice, but it's working well. So let's get out of live view and just like heat vision, um, we will do playback. Okay. And we'll go back to Har Auto and I'll pick a camera. And we'll hit search. Again, this is where you would change the date, but we'll do just today. Okay. And as you can tell right away, it, it comes up quickly. Okay. So let's do the same thing. Let's go to eight o'clock um, and wait for it to come up. Okay. Came right up. All right. It's raining. It looks like the camera's got a little bit of moisture on it. Um, I'll tell you the picture quality from the other location with Hick Vision is definitely better, but um, we'll give the camera the benefit of the doubt because of the weather. So now to download a clip, again, this is playback to download a clip. Um, there is no start and stop button. Okay. Dawa doesn't have that. Okay. What you will have to do with Dawa is take a clip using these scissors. Okay. So you'd find your incident. Um, you'd hit the scissors, um, and it will give you a start time and a end time. This is an hour. Um, so you can drag this to the length of your incident. Okay. Let's see if we can drag it a little bit more. Come on, Dawa. I'm trying to give you a shout out. It looks like that is all it will let me do. Let's try again here. Yep. So that's the smallest clip it's allowing me to do. Um, and, and to cut that, you'll hit the scissors again, okay? And the screen will come up. We want it to download and export it as a ABI, okay? So it will play in media player. Uh, and now what you have to do is hit okay, okay? Um, it's telling you that it has to stop the playback. That's fine. And you will see um, that the export has begun, okay? And there'll be a green bar um, for the status. Because it only let us go to a 40-minute clip for whatever reason, um, this is going to take a minute, okay? So we'll see how long that takes. Again, we're trying to do this as neutral as possible. Um, we're doing it unedited live um, so you can make an evaluation based on your observation, okay? What I'll do is I will time it. Okay, I'll time it. You'll see by the timestamp right here, it is 1024 right now. I'm going to stop the video and pick this up as soon as it finishes or when it's at the end so I don't uh, hold up the video waiting for this. All right, we are back. It is 1039 and this is embarrassing. It has taken forever to download this file. It is a large file uh, and it's high def, so... Um, We'll give him some points for that. Um, 
and I have taken smaller clips before. I'm not sure with this particular video why, why it made me do it this way. But as you'll see, when it's finished, it tells you it's finished, but it does not give you a link um, to get to the video, whereas Heek Vision did. Okay, and the first time I did this, it was problematic because it's hard to find. Um, so what we'll do now is I'll show you where to find the video. The good news is when we find it, it will not have to be converted. Okay, so we'll get out of here. And we'll go into our files. And we'll go to C drive. And we'll go to users. And we'll go to public. And we'll find smart PSS and capture. Okay. Oh. I'm sorry, record. There's our download. Okay. And this is going to be our video. So let's double click on the video. It's already an AVI file. It should play for us. We can't open. It's encoded in ATV1 format, which isn't supported. Interesting. We told it to download in AVI. All right, so we were unable to play back the DAWA file, um, so it would have to be converted. Um, not sure why that happened. As you can see, I did do it earlier uh, in preparing for this video, um, and it works fine. You know, that video clip worked fine, so... Um, I were on my own, what I would have to do is go through that process again um, and, and hope that it worked. Okay, those were the types of issues we saw previously with Heek Vision. To be honest, I haven't, I haven't noticed it with Dawa. Um, that's the first time and it happened to be on video. So based on this experience, um, just my opinion, I'm, I'm sure you feel the same way, uh, Heek Vision takes the prize when it comes to remote view playback. Okay, probably a tie uh, with Live View, but like I said before, in the past I've been able to use Smart PSS just fine. So that was some type of encoding kink, uh, and it could have been a problem with the download. Like I said, usually it lets me pick and cut a smaller clip, and it wouldn't for some reason. So I'm sure if I did it again, I'd get able to, I'd be able to play it back. But unfortunately, it's not going to be in this video. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the field.